Good afternoon YouTubers, gonna do here, off on another camping trip, a bit of mountain biking, uh, I'm just leaving Hillsville at the moment in the Yarra Valley which is to the northeast of Melbourne and um, I'm heading up to a place called Buxton, so there's uh, the Buxton mountain bike park there which I'm gonna ride hopefully tomorrow and I've got a couple of spots picked out in um, camping spots. One's a small one and uh, can only take one vehicle, so hopefully I can get it. But I've got a backup one that's a little bit further away, but not radical. I have stayed there before. So anyway, we'll um, get up there and we'll see what we can find. I've got my camp set up now and I got the campsite I wanted which is really good it's only a small one but um, um, you saw on the drone footage me pull up there uh, I'll give you a look at it in a minute so this is Project Road it's about 3.6 kilometers south of Buxton in the Yarra Valley just on the northeast edges of Melbourne it's on the Archeron River and as you can see There's the river, pretty good. My campsite's just up around that corner. So um, it'll be really good tomorrow morning. I'll be able to just get on my bike and ride up to Buxton where the mountain bike park is. So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, bit of firewood around here. Although I'm not gonna get much of a fire going tonight. I'll just get my pot belly going. It's uh, quite warm. Um, no need to burn wood if I don't have to. So, um, yeah, I'll just walk you back to the campsite and uh, show you it. As you can see, this is the Black Range State Forest. have no idea how far it goes back, but um, via wiki camps, I cannot find any other campsites registered in here. So, I'm sure there is campsites in here. I've seen a vehicle go past me and um haven't seen him come back so he's probably gone and found a campsite up there so but um me being two wheel drive uh, i'm quite happy with what i've got and there we go this is the project road campsite comes up on both camper mate and wiki camps um you probably could fit someone in here um if you wanted to be sociable, um, I'm quite happy to have it just by myself. Uh, happy about that. But honestly, you could probably fit a few people in here. But like I said, there is plenty of firewood around here, but I only burn fires if I need it for warmth. Um, don't really need it tonight. Someone's had a campfire going over there in the middle. Um, you can see a few pieces of wood cut for seats and such. A few old burnt logs, but um, like I said, I'm not going to use them tonight. And down here is a um, four-wheel drive crossing. I don't know how deep it would be in there, but I'm certainly not going to attempt it with my vehicle. But someone has. Maybe when it gets a bit lower. But that's the Archeron River. And it's flowing quite nicely. Um, I'll get some water out of that and use that for my um, shower tonight. So it'll be quite good, so i uh, see if I can fly my drone up along the um, creek tomorrow morning, or tomorrow afternoon. As I've said, there we go. Anyway, I got myself a beer, and I'm enjoying camping.
Well, I just got back from my mountain bike ride at Buxton Mountain Bike Park. Um, and before it gets too hot, I'm actually going to ride up this trail here. And I'm going to head, hopefully, up to the top of that hill up there. I know that road there looks like it's going in that direction, but it actually kicks around to the left. So, I'd like to get up there, um, see if I can get a view of something, maybe get my drone flying up. Um, anyway, we'll give it a go and see how far we get. I tried to get up there on my mountain bike, but uh, couldn't, so I'm on my way back to camp, and I think I've missed my turn off, so I'll have to go back, but I came across a tree with a sign on it saying Landau Lookout, so it was just a quick ride across, and um, I got quite a good view, so um, I may not have got to where I wanted to, but um, I still got a great view. That there is the Cathedral Range over there. And um, down the bottom in the middle there is Buxton and my campsite must be uh, back behind those trees so yeah may not have got to where I wanted to but uh, I got a good look out anyway I uh, made a bit of a mistake it's not Landau's lookout it's Lana's lookout so um, yeah, great view. shed and um, everything's packed away but I thought I'd um, talk about something that I got very very wrong 
So on the way down to um, where I was camping, which I had to go through Melbourne, I went past an anaconda store and I found this fridge here, the uh, Dometic CF11, pretty small, but it does my needs. Um, it was on special, so I grabbed it. Um, and I ran this one instead of this one, because I was having trouble, it, it just seemed to be draining my battery and I was always having trouble with it. So I ran this one and honestly, I, I thought it was broken. That's how well it worked because it just never turned on. Um, but it did work and it kept everything nice and cool. So um, it did hardly use the battery at all. It was just brilliant, it was great. So this is gonna be my main little fridge when I go away by myself. Now, aside, this one here is the King's 15 litre fridge. And I'll, I'll admit, um, I didn't know a lot about fridges when I bought it. And I noticed it ran a lot. And I'm talking every five to 10 minutes, it was running. And I thought, that's normal. Until I started to um, get you know, um, battery readings that were saying, yeah, you're 50%, 60%. And that was in the middle of the day, so at night time I had to switch it off. Read a few things about them and um, found out, you know, people saying put ice blocks in them, cool them down. I did all those things and it just never changed a thing. So as far as I'm concerned, the King's 15 litre fridge is a dud. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of it, get, get out of my life. Um, it could be this fridge and it could be something um, as Simple as it's got a bad thermostat or something, but I don't know how to fix that, so I'm not going near it. I'm just going to get rid of it. So, yeah, look, I have got a review on the uh, my channel about this fridge. I actually am considering removing it, or at least posting a comment on it, saying I got this wrong. So, if you're thinking about buying a 15 litre fridge from Kings, my personal opinion is avoid it. Spend a little bit more and get hold of a decent fridge because it makes a huge difference. So anyway, that's all I've got for this episode. So um, if you like my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.